sounds frightening. But it's, it's a lot easier than it sounds. I mean, for us, it was anyway. Liver transplant operation involves removing a patient's liver and replacing it uh, with a new liver. Once the uh, diseased liver has been removed, the new liver is, is put um, into the abdomen in the same location. And uh, there are several connections that need to be made. Uh, there are uh, three blood vessels that need to be connected, two blood vessels carrying blood into the liver, and one blood vessel carrying blood out of the liver. In addition, the bile duct needs to be uh, reconstructed. The early complications that we worry about would be uh, things like bleeding, clotting off of the blood vessels, um, particularly the, um, the artery or the vein that go into the liver, um, or leakage um, from the bile duct. Once the transplant is completed, um, the patient will have uh, several tubes coming out of their body, uh, including several drainage tubes to drain extra fluid from the abdomen, um, uh, as well as um, uh, a tube that uh, drains uh, bile temporarily. All these tubes are temporary. Uh, they, they are removed either in, uh, in the patient's room while they're in the hospital um, or in the clinic after they go home. Uh, the patient is usually on the breathing machine or the ventilator for uh, one to two days after a liver transplant, uh, but sometimes um, uh, they can actually uh, come out of the operating room already off of the ventilator. Following a liver transplant, uh, you can expect to be uh, in the hospital for two to three weeks um, uh, or longer if there are any complications uh, that prevent you from going home. Um, patients in general are um, fairly comfortable after a transplant and are on uh, IV uh, pain medicine, medicines for several days, uh, but then can be transitioned to oral pain medicines as, as they increase their oral intake. Following transplantation, uh, your child will, will be on immunosuppressive medications uh, that will prevent rejection uh, of the transplanted organ. Uh, these medications uh, must be taken for life. Um, but the level of immunosuppression uh, will be uh, tailored to your particular child's needs. In general, we, we give higher doses of immunosuppression early after transplant when the risk of rejection is the greatest, and we taper down to lower levels uh, as time goes on.